if you look at the team in the OR and if you look at Carla and Jillian in the outpatient setting, it's a series of checks and balances. We have some very complex patients we take care of. And what they're allowing me, to, allowing me to do is big picture things. I get in the weeds, absolutely. But what they allow me to do is to focus on the biggest part of taking care of the most complex patients. And they are pros. Anyone who comes in here fully recognizes how smart Carla is, Jillian is, and this operative team that I have, they are, there is no match. We get in early, about an hour early before each case, start preparing all the instruments that are needed, a lot of different equipment depending on the case. And then a very pivotal part of the case is the surgical counts. So between the surgical tech and the circulator, we have to count all of our instruments, all of our sponges. But we have to make sure at the end of the case, we have all of those things accounted for, very important. My biggest role is just being a patient advocate. You know, the patient is asleep, so they lose their voice and I'm that voice for them. I go to interview them and ask them any questions pertaining to the upcoming surgery they're about to have. Then I go back to the operating room, make sure we grab all the equipment we're gonna need, pull any medications that the patient's gonna receive during the surgery. Once the patient gets in the room, I make sure they're comfortable, assist with anything that anesthesia might need as far as intubation. It's important for me to understand what the surgeon is gonna be doing as well. And it helps me begin to guide my anesthetic plan for the day. I set up my room, get my drugs ready, my airway equipment, Equipment, and I take the time to look at my patient because again it's very important for me to know my patient's comorbidities and have a good idea of the safest way to take care of each individual patient. I usually come in around 6, surgery starts around 7. My job is knowing exactly what you're doing, it's making sure that you stay a step ahead of your surgeon, it's making sure that you're able to teach others what you're learning. We study what we do. There's a reason that we can stay a step ahead of Dr. Hannaford because we know what he's gonna ask for before he even asks for it. We work great together as a team. We put the patient first. We do have a stressful job, but it is easy to come to work knowing that we're working together as a team. We appreciate what everybody brings to the table. Patient safety always comes first, but we are able to work in a whole lot of fun during the process, and it just makes for a great day. It makes your job easier when everybody else is so dedicated to the outcome as the patient as well. It's just fulfilling to see how far these patients have come. The teamwork that we have here is phenomenal. We love each other. We look forward to coming to work whenever we know that we're in the room together, and we just have a very phenomenal team.